This is my new moon offering from my heart, from my home, from my office to you, to your heart, to your home, wherever you find yourself today. So this is the very first new moon of spring for those of us who are in the Northern Hemisphere. And it's the first new moon of autumn for those of us who are in the Southern Hemisphere. So if we really hold the body of Mother Earth in our awareness and in our attention, it's pretty remarkable to think about how she's expressing. It always is because, you know, for us wild women, wild folks, the earth, nature is the teacher. Nature is the guide. Nature is the messenger. And what she embodies right now in this moment, right now in the present, in the Southern Hemisphere, things are starting to die, starting to fall away, right? Autumn. While simultaneously in the Northern Hemisphere, things are starting to rise up, to grow, to blossom. And that's happening always simultaneously, life and death. And there's, it's just a really, on this new moon, a good time to contemplate that teaching from nature that things are growing and things are dying. Things are always growing and things are always dying. Things are always growing and things are always dying. And it's happening all at once. It's happening all at once. So an inquiry that I'm offering for you to think about in the first half of the cycle. So until the full moon, hold this inquiry. What is dying and what is being born? What is dying and what is being born? And you can choose how you wanna play with this. You can go, um, what I like to do is I start way zoomed out. So like as if, you know, the same sort of view as though I'm looking at the world from outside and looking at the whole world and looking at the earth and looking at the climate and looking at the environment and going, what is dying? What is being born? And then, and then you, you can sort of zoom into wherever, you know, your continent, um, your country, your local community, your neighborhood, your family your closest relationships, your relationship to yourself, and then your own heart. And at every level from zoomed out to way in, you ask, what is dying and what is being born? And you ask again, what is dying and what is being born? And you can hold this, what is dying and what is being born on every level. So as we, as a great big global family, are united in our experience of a global pandemic. We can sit together. We actually can um, listen. We can tune into our interdependence in a way that is was perhaps in the past more abstract, but in this moment we realized we real that the interdependence is like tangible. It's like right here. So ask, what is dying? What is being born? What is dying? What is being born? What is dying? What is being born? I know for me, I was thinking about it and I had so many plans for this year, big plans and small plans. And everything is up in the air. Some of it's gonna be canceled, uh, rescheduled, and I've been in this um, shift that's happening really organically, which is 
I'm taking my plans and I'm taking my ambitions and I'm laying them on the earth like an offering. I give you my plans. I give you my ambition. I give you my patterns. And then I ask, how can I be of service now? What do you want for me, of me? How can I be of service? And that laying down of what you thought was going to happen or what you planned was going to happen and kind of like, like old patterning that was that your patterning and your plans and our ambitions, you know, they came out of a different framework. And this moment is asking us to step into a new paradigm, into a new framework. So see if there's anything inside of you that you need to lay down as an offering to the earth and then ask, ask with your whole being, don't tell, ask, how may I be of service now? And listen, your answer might come real back real fast. It might take days. It might take weeks, but stay in your question. And that, that inquiry, what is dying or what is being born, what is dying and what is being born can help guide you into a very, very deep listening. I want to invite you to join us here at the Wild Woman Project for a couple of things that we have going on this moon cycle. So we have circle leader training coming up starting on April 6th. It is 100% online. And if the thought of holding space for other women, uh, guiding people in a sacred way into, you know, listening to our inner guidance, listening to the earth, listening to one another, if that is stirs you. I hope you'll consider joining us. It's it's pretty evenly personal development and skill building for circle facilitation. Seven weeks long, 100% online, and you'll learn how to lead circles both in person and online. So I hope that you will um, consider joining us. And I want you to know that in light of the coronavirus, we have extended our scholarship application deadline to the 30th. So link below this video, if you're watching this on Instagram, just make sure you go under our circle leader um, training tab. Second, we'll have live wild woman school, um, live online <laughs> on April 2nd. And the title of this Wild Woman School is We Are Here. And this is a community ritual. It'll be about listening to the earth. It'll be about witnessing our own hearts. It'll be about cultivating resilience to meet this really sacred, unprecedented moment. Together, expect music and storytelling. And uh, link below this video, if, if cost is prohibitive, please email us about scholarships. You can find that all under Wild Woman School. Uh, link below this video. Again, on Instagram, check out the Wild Woman School tab. And finally, we have so many circle leaders of ours who are used to leading online, or used to leading in person in their communities who are doing telecircles now. So we actually have a list of live telecircles. You'll reach out to the, we'll put links so you can reach out to the circle leaders who are facilitating those. They all you know, work independently, but they're part of our Wild Woman Project community. So if you feel like being in a live telecircle space online from your home, you are very, very welcome to join in those. So uh, check that all out in the links below this video. Be sure to stay in that inquiry, what is dying, what is being born, what is dying, what is being born. And we will be listening together.